in order to access our backup restore tool for MSSQL, head over to our control panel, then choose the domain name that you wish to manage or where that database has been created under and scroll to the bottom and select database manager. Now you're going to select the database that you wish to perform the backup or restore on. And in this case, we only have one. And just keep in mind that there are three or really four key variables you're going to need. And that's going to be the database name, the server name, or the host name. And you'll also need the username and the password. So once you've verified what those variables are or you've written them down, uh, select uh, click here on their backup restore. That will open up a new window, which you can maximize by double clicking at the top of the bar. And then enter your login details into the login screen. Then click connect. The scope of this video is going to cover the backup and restore functions. First, we're going to perform a backup. So to do that, we'll click on the backup databases option on the left navigation bar. This tool is very intuitive. It only has five steps to perform a backup of uh, any database. The first step is choose your database. And in this case, there's only one we can select because we only own a single database on this server. Um, the second option is to verify that this is the database you actually want to back up. So if that is the case indeed, click OK. Next, you're going to give your backup set a name. So in this case, we'll make it Contico test. And the set description, we'll make it first database backup. And it seems like we're ready to back up. So we'll perform the backup option. Now the database is backing up. Great. Seems like we're ready to download it. So just click on the link. And you may now download that back file to your local drive. Okay, so for the next part of the tutorial, we'll show you how to perform a restore. And to do that, simply click on the restore databases option on the left navigation menu here. And in, in this case, there's actually one more step. On the backup, there was five steps. The restore has six steps. So we'll begin just as we did before, selecting our database. And then you're going to verify. Next, you're going to choose the database file that you wish to restore. So to do that, we'll browse our hard drive and select the file we wish to upload. And once the file has finished uploading, we can come back to step three and select the backup file that you've uploaded. Then click OK, and that will allow us to move on to step four. And option four will ask us to specify which backup set we want to use. In this case, there's only one. Uh, in many cases, though, SQL Server will back up to the same backup file, creating more backup sets. And the way you would uh, verify which backup set you want to restore is by looking at the backup date. So again, in this case, we only have one. So we'll just continue by going to step five and select and restore. And that will come up uh, with a message, a warning message. Just click OK. OK, now it seems like the database has been restored. And the last step. Uh, is the check database options and we can see here that no errors have been found so we're actually good our database has been uploaded our application should be working again this concludes the tutorial